Welcome back, my amazing subscribers and returning viewers. I hope I meet you all in good health. Thanks for supporting Grandma Esohi. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not yet done so. Also, click on the notification bell for more videos. We will be looking at the different types of men when a woman is looking for a choice husband. This also applies to a man that is looking uh, to make a choice of a wife as well. It works both ways. There are many ways to categorize men or women based on different criteria. Why there isn't a universal agreed upon set? The, we can say five types of men. We will look at five general categories that people uh, commonly use. Number one, introverted versus uh, extroverted men. This categorization focuses on a man's preferred level of social interaction. Introverted men tend to recharge by spending more time alone, while extroverted men gain energy from being around others and discussing introverted and extroverted men. It is important to remember that the personality traits exist on the spectrum and not all men will fit neatly into one category or the other. That being said, let's explore some general differences you might find between introverted and extroverted men. Introverted men tend to be more inward focused. They are, you know, they want to be alone. They gain energy from solitude, from being alone and uh, introspection often preferring smaller social circles and quieter environments. They may be more thoughtful and contemplative, preferring deep conversations over small talk. Introverted men may find social situations draining and may need some time alone to recharge their energy. While on the other end, extroverted men tend to be outward focused and gain energy from being around others. They are often sociable, outgoing, and strive in larger social settings. They may enjoy meeting new people, engaging in conversations, and being the life of a party. When they enter a room, you know yes, that they, they are in there. Make everybody laugh. Extroverted men tend to think out loud and may be more comfortable expressing themselves openly. It is important to note that neither uh, introversion or extroversion is inherently good or bad. It's simply a matter of personal preference and how individuals recharge their energy. Both types have their strengths and can cancel in various areas of life, whether it is in personal relationships, careers, or other pursuits. In reality, most people possess strict uh, traits of both uh, introversion and uh, extroversion to a varying degree, known as uh, ambiversion. They can be both. This means that uh, individuals may exhibit qualities from both ends of the spectrum, depending on the situation and their energy levels. It is crucial not to judge or stigmatize one group over the other. As such, person have their unique strengths and preferences. Number two, traditional and modern men. This categorization refers to uh, men's attitude and behavior towards gender roles and uh, societal expectations. Traditional men or women may adhere to more traditional views on family, relationships, and career. While modern men and women are likely to exchange their norms and embrace progressive values, traditional and modern notions of masculinity or femininity can vary based on culture, period, and individual perspective. Traditional masculinity or femininity often emphasizes characteristics such as physical strength, assertiveness, and the role of provider and protector within the family unit. On the other hand, modern masculinity tends to embrace a more inclusive and diverse 
understanding, recognizing that men can possess a range of qualities beyond just those traditionally associated with masculinity. Modern men may focus on emotional intelligence, empathy, and equal partnership in relationships, among other uh, attributes. Ultimately, both traditional and modern masculinity have their own merits, and the concept of masculinity continues to evolve as societies progress. Number three, provider versus caregiver men. This categorization examines men's role within relationships and families. Provider men prioritize financial stability, taking care of their loved ones economically, while caregiver men focus on emotional support, nurturing, and being actively involved in child care. Provider and caregiver roles are often associated with uh, traditional uh, gender roles within the family. So, in uh, traditional notions of masculinity, the man is typically seen as the provider responsible for earning income and financially supporting the family, while the caregiver role is given to the woman, often linked you know, to the idea of being primarily uh, the female. However, societal attitudes and expectations have changed over time, and many men now actively embrace the role of a caregiver depending on uh, what happens in their family. This includes being involved in child care, have socials, and emotionally support for their family. Modern men recognize the importance of shared responsibility and may choose to prioritize their roles as caregivers alongside their desire to provide for their family. So it is important to note that these roles are not mutually exclusive and individuals can embody a combination of both the provider and caregiver qualities. The division of labor within a family can vary depending on personal preferences, cultural backgrounds, and individual circumstances. Ultimately, what matters is creating a supportive and nurturing environment for all family members regardless of gender. So it's Comp- number four, competitive versus cooperative men. This categorization looks at men's approaches to competition and collaboration. Competitive men strive on winning, being as- assertive, and achieving goals. While cooperative men prioritize teamwork, collective success, and maintaining harmonious relationships. When it comes to behavior and personal traits, Some individuals are naturally more competitive, while others tend to be more cooperative. However, it is important to note that these traits can vary greatly among individuals and are not limited to just men, which I have said before. Uh, Competitive individuals often strive on challenges and enjoy winning. They are driven to outperform others strive for personal success and may even view life as a type of competition. In some cases, competitiveness can be advantageous, motivating individuals to reach their goals and push themselves beyond their limits. However, excessive competitiveness can sometimes lead to rivalry and a lack of cooperation. On the other hand, cooperative individuals tend to place greater emphasis on teamwork and collaboration. This often prioritizes harmony, empathy, and group success over personal achievements. Cooperation can foster positive and supportive relationships, allowing individuals to work effectively together towards shared goals, especially in their families. You know, it is important to recognize that both competitiveness and cooperativeness have their merits in different situations at different times. In some contexts, such as sports or business, competition can foster innovation and drive improvement. In the other contexts, like community projects or in the home front or relationships, cooperation is often the key to success. 
and mutual satisfaction. Ultimately, the choice between competition and cooperation depends on various factors, including personal values, the specific situation, and the desired outcome. It is also worth noting that individuals can exhibit elements of both competitiveness and cooperativeness. As these traits are not mutually exclusive, people can adapt their behavior based on the circumstances they face and the goals they wish to achieve. So, um, then number five, ambitious versus content men. These categories relate to men's attitudes towards personal and professional goals. Ambitious men are driven to continuously pursue success and achieve greater heights, while content men prioritize finding satisfaction and fulfillment in their current circumstances. Ambitious and content are two different mindsets that men can have, even women, and it affects their marriages, their relationships. You know, to some extent, ambitious men are driven by a desire to achieve more and constantly strive for success, often setting high goals for themselves and working hard to attain them. To the detriment of the family, they may have a strong desire for power, recognition and financial success. On the other hand, content men are more focused on finding satisfaction and fulfillment in their current circumstances. They may have a sense of gratitude for what they have achieved and be comfortable with their current level of success. Contentment often comes from a sense of inner peace and the ability to appreciate the present uh, moment. Both mindsets have their own benefits and drawbacks. Ambitious men may experience greater success in their career and personal lives but they may also face higher levels of stress and burnout. Content men, meanwhile, may have a greater sense of happiness and balance in their lives, but they might be less driven to reach their full potential. Ultimately, whether one is ambitious or content depends on their own personal values, their goals and aspirations. Some people naturally lean towards one mindset over the other, while others may find a balance between the two. It is important for individuals to reflect on their own desires and priorities to determine what path is best suited for them. Ambition this categorization are vast generalization and individuals may exhibit traits from multiple categories or not neatly fit into any single one. It is important to appreciate the diversity, the complexity, and the individuality of uh, uh, people. So, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, video. Please comment what type of a man would you like and, you know, relating to your own uh, desires and relate. We have looked into the different types of uh, uh, men or women, categorization, categorization of uh, men and women and we've seen that it depends on the individual and what are your values, what do you need, what do you want, what do you want in the next partner, what do you want in a husband to be or a wife to be. All this also should relate to your own self. You know, what is your own uh, uh, character? What are you able to deal with? You want uh, a marriage that there is cooperation? Or you want a marriage that, uh, oh, the man just goes looking for money and you, you will be a housewife, a homemaker, you know, taking care of your kids. And uh, you don't mind if the, man is, uh, is, uh, if the man is helping you in the house or not. So it depends on you know the different uh, uh, car your different desires and your you know what you want in life, and we are all different, and there is no one that is bad, as long as you can, you you know as long as you can live with it. Will have you really now? Can you now be uh, able to decide what kind of husband you will want? If yes, 
please comment in the in the comment section and uh, let us uh, let other people learn and also you know know why you have chosen those type of uh, categories all right so thanks for watching i will uh, see you in my next uh, video please like and share thank you